I'm Pat Hindle and I'm here at IMS 2021 talking to Phil Lambert, Senior Applications Engineer at Fortify. So Fortify is kind of new to our industry. That's Can right. you tell us a little bit about your company? Sure, Fortify is a 3D printing manufacturer. We manufacture a technology that, enable, that enables our customers uh, to print a variety of interesting RF uh, devices. Um, we just partnered with Rogers to introduce a new 2.6 DK material to the industry and we're leveraging that to print some uh, grin devices, some substrates, and a whole bunch of other really interesting devices for the RF industry. So what is so unique about that Rogers material that enables really high performance devices? Uh, that's a great question. So the material itself is very low loss and it's interesting that we can 3D print it because it allows us to do tunable primitivity. So by, in, by leveraging 3D printing and lattice geometries, we're able to tune the primitivity locally by controlling the volume fraction of the material. Um, that enables us to do effective permittivities. Lower volume fractions means lower uh, effective permittivities. Higher volume fractions means higher effective permittivities. So that means within one monolithic device, we're able to have a wide range and even a gradient of permittivities um, to do some really interesting stuff. Yeah, and with 3D printing, you can enable different shapes that are not available in traditional manufacturing. What are some of the things that you've done so far with that? Yeah, so the first, uh, uh, the first demonstrator that we have in our white paper that people can go download if they'd like is a Lundberg lens. So Lundberg lens is a concept that's been around since 1944, but up until recently, it hasn't really made a whole lot of commercial, um, hasn't really had a whole lot of commercial demand because it's been really challenging to manufacture, and with the lower frequencies, it's been really large. Um, but because of the introduction of millimeter wave more into, through 5G and through SATCOM, uh, these, these, Lundberg, uh, lenses, these Lundberg style lenses are becoming a lot more interesting. And uh, we're able to enable Lundberg style lenses by being able to control uh, the primitivity in the way that I described earlier. Can you show us a couple of those pieces? Yeah, absolutely. So in our white paper, we talk about one, style, one Lundberg style lens in which we test in the KA band, and we feed it with a waveguide feed source. And by feeding it with this feed source and measuring the, the wavefront that comes out the other side, we're able to demonstrate that we can convert a spherical wavefront to a highly directive beam with a gain of around 24 dBi at 30 gigahertz. Wow. And so that's fairly interesting, and the Lundberg lens is also has another interesting characteristic in which it's radially symmetric. So that means I can rotate this device in this mount, uh, illuminate it again, and get a very similar performance. So from a practical standpoint, that means I can put a variety of waveguide feed sources around this device and have highly directed beams coming out the exact opposite side, uh, regardless of where the beam, where the feed source is located on the surface of the device. So, so long as I can fit a feed source in there, I can create a, direct, a directive beam on, uh, coming out the other side. Very interesting application, and I think uh, you'll find there will be a lot more coming out of this in the future, so we'll definitely be following your progress. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks to everybody for watching, coming from IMS 2021 in Atlanta.